Welcome back to Pop Culture Conspiracy. I'm your host, T. And in this video, I'm going to be covering the disappearance of Illinois State University student Jelani Day and how that relates to Chloe Bailey's Have Mercy music video. Now, I've been making content for a while, so I originally did cover this story when it broke, but I do not operate under that name anymore. I have rebranded my channel. So I'm going to cover this story under my new name. I'm covering this now because a subscriber or a viewer, I don't know if they're subscribed or not, reached out to me yesterday after watching my video about Beyonce sabotaging Chloe Bailey and they asked me um, to read this article and I told them, hey, I do not have the backup from that uh, previous website. So let me just upload the recording. And I was like, you know what? Let me re-record this. Like, I know I can do a better recording. And when remaking the video, I end up finding that I had a screen recording of the article. So I'm going to go back and read that previous article and just remake this content in a better way. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the article. First, let's get into the etymology of the song's title, Have Mercy. One would only ask for mercy if they've done something that they're going to need forgiveness for. The setting of the video is a college campus and it opens up with Chloe sitting on top of a school building as if she's watching like a hawk for prey. Something sinister is going on at the fictional campus just like at ISU and both have a wicked woman walking around. What you probably miss and need to be privy to is that Chloe spends a good portion of the video inside what is supposed to be a vagina. This is because Chloe in the video is a succubus or a female sex demon. Succubi use sex or the power of the pee to lure men in, harvest their energy, and then unalive them. To make matters worse, Biaki's Bamatina is in a car flipping through a newspaper. As you can see in the pics below, the newspaper shows a series of missing young men. It appears as if she's overlooking and watching Chloe like a handler. It's widely known that Tina has been in the music industry for quite some time and is very high ranking among the elite members of the occult. The video's love interest is a frat boy who's a part of a frat that just so happens to have the same colors as Jelani's. The young man also has a similar haircut and is handsome and brown, just like Jelani as well. Coincidence? I think the F not. A woman was definitely involved in Jelani's murder, just like in the video. And then I have photos of Chloe in bed and the foreshadowing of turning him into stone. After Chloe successfully lures her video boo into a maze, she commences to do a dance ritual that allows the demon we know as Sasha Fierce to enter her body. After her possession, the deed has been done and the love interest is fully turned into stone. Now, Chloe stated out of her own mouth in an interview that the original video was filmed a while back but was reshot. She spent a bunch of label money redoing the video for a reason. So was Jelani Day a sacrifice? Absolutely, but I'm gonna have to say allegedly in this video. Check out Chloe's debut at number one on the R&B digital sales chart. Jelani's body was found in water on September 4th, the same day as Chloe's mentor's birthday. Said mentor, who was a self-proclaimed lover of the sea, spent several weeks on a boat to celebrate her big 40. See the water connection? Could this have something to do with maritime law? I'm sure some of y'all will chalk this up to me being a corny hater on my Illuminati mess, but not everyone can tell the same lie about you, and I stand on that, period. The Starbucks logo is the siren slash mermaid, slash mermaid, and Chloe and Holly referred to their fans as sirens. And again, Jelani was found in water. While some of y'all may find that insignificant, this is an occult breakdown, so I need y'all to think outside the box. Jack Dorsey is also friends with people over in Carterland. I've noticed search results showing up on Google that you can't find on Twitter. It's clear that particular searches are starting to be censored on the dirty bird. In case you didn't know, fall time, especially October, is harvesting season. There's more people missing right now than usual that the media isn't covering for a reason. I urge my fellow black people in particular to stay woke and extra safe out there. And then I go on to say my theory. 
I believe Jelani was Chloe's sacrifice for success and that Rodney Boaster, who is Kara Boaster. Now, Kara Boaster is um, Jelani Day's professor's husband, may have unalived Jelani Day in a crime of passion and then sold his organs to the elites. May Jelani rest in peace as he was an accomplished young man gone too soon. Unfortunately, the public is doing more for Jelani than the police. The truth surrounding his death is just as mysterious as it is heartbreaking. So I am honored to be a part of the community who are bringing attention to his situation and demanding justice for this young man and his family. Okay. And article. Because I do not, long, I do not uh, have that podcast any longer and I don't care because I'm on YouTube now and it's working out better for me. So, okay, you guys, I wanted to mention some things here because I have some decodes in this video. With these music videos, all of them, there are professional people, as I think 2 Chains may have stated in an interview before, there are professional people who go to school to learn how to properly shoot music videos meaning they're not just learning how to do the cinematography they're learning how to code music videos they're learning how to put images in videos that trigger the subconscious mind or that like you know emit messages to your subconscious mind that you may not notice subliminal programming and I mentioned that because somebody on social media had to put me on to the fact that Chloe was inside of a vagina and again that was done to program people subliminally with again like sex messages or things that stimulate their um, root chakra so I wanted to just put that out there again you don't have to believe this this is all allegedly it's all speculation but it was just weird how in the original story Jelani Day goes to class then he goes to like a weed store he went to like a dispensary and then after that his phone was like missing and he was missing and his body and his clothes were found like an hour away from campus i think in like peru illinois and you know again when people started to look into this it looked like he may have been having an affair or like some type of inappropriate relationship with his professor Kara Bolster um you know I think that there could be some truth to that because again they needed his phone to disappear so that way she wasn't caught up in this um you know her husband was involved with like some kind of um some kind of like government organization where he I don't he wasn't a police officer but I just recall again him having like some government ties and so it seems like of course it was pretty easy for him to cover this up he may have had help and so I just think again none of this stuff is a coincidence I think that the time that it happened and again Chloe Bailey and then Beyonce it just seemed like again there was some real higher ups because look you guys there's a Freemason Lodge in every town in America like even the smallest towns have a Freemason Lodge so you never know how connected people are and notice how again Giovanni Day was a part of a you know Divine Nine organization so he was in this stuff and when you take these oaths and when you join certain organizations it opens you up to certain things happening to you so yes you know he was involved in um freemasonry to some degree and Kara Bolster's, Kara Bolster's husband appeared to be involved into freemasonry of some degree and somehow some way that seems like it had a connection with chloe bailey's video you know, I do think that Chloe Bailey did need to have an offering for the industry and that this video was predictive programming for that. You know, only God knows how this stuff truly is related, but clearly there's a correlation here because again, even the young man in the video was in a fraternity. So that goes to show you something. And again, that young that young man, the, the guy who was cast, does... He doesn't look like Jelani Day, but he was meant to. Again, the, the same haircut, the same, the fraternity having the same, again, colors. Like, it was all 
it was all you know strategically planned and designed that's how i'm reading this so you know you don't have to agree i'm just doing this because somebody asked me to and i always tell you guys if you request a video then i will oblige so i hope that this has um you know done what it was supposed to do i have uh the screen recording of the article so you can go back and read and you know go look at this stuff for yourself with his disappearance the timing the fact that his organs were missing you know that's why i mentioned the organ harvesting stuff because that shit is real and that's why i was saying to you guys you know stay safe especially in these last few months it's called the jason month july august september october november a lot of people go missing or pass in these last few months of the year so drop down in the comments let me know what you guys think and i will talk to y'all in the next ones bye